Hello, this is a, just a short presentation about the software with Matt. This is the main panel of the software. As you can see, there are four main groups. This one, second one about joint analysis, then passive seismics, refraction, micro tremor, and horizontal to vertical spectral ratio analysis. And here is just a group about uh, some general utilities for converting formats and so on. So let's start from here, which means the classical, say, surface wave analysis. So you click here, like this. This is the main panel of this section. And, uh, okay, the first thing to do is to upload uh, a field data set. For instance, you can upload this one, classical, say, Rayleigh wave uh, data set, which means that you are using a sledgehammer, vertical sledgehammer, and vertical geophones. This is your data set. Uh, you can see uh, very clear surface waves here. And here you can see uh, quite clear also refraction. Uh, first thing you have to do is to calculate the velocity spectrum of this data set. So you, you should set a minimum and maximum velocity and frequency range for this case. And in this case, this is enough and you can compute your velocity spectrum, which is here. Where you can see several things. You can see the fundamental mode, which is the slowest one, and then branches of higher modes here, like that. Okay, as you can see here, there is a refraction. So, uh, generally speaking, you should remove that refraction, because there is this refraction is somehow also here somewhere. So, you can remove such an event that you don't want to consider, and to do that, you simply remove the event like this. Uh, you can see there is a polygon here. And uh, using this tool, you can keep only the data within the polygon. So you select, and as you can see now, your refraction uh, is removed. So you can compute once more your velocity spectrum and see the difference. In this case, there is not such a big difference, just here the energy is slightly different. Anyway, this is the basic data set. Now there are uh, two uh, possible approaches, uh, say strategies. You can model, personally say model, your data. For, for instance, here there is a default model. And if, you can, if you compute the dispersion curves of this model, you will get some dispersion curves, three in this case, you can have more. But, as you can see here, it's too fast, because our fundamental mode is here, so you should somehow um, uh, reduce the velocities here. For instance, do it something fast, you can play, of course, both with VS velocity, shear wave velocity, and thickness strata. You can do it once more, and for instance, you will get something like this. You, you can see it's slower, of course, you can refresh. But you can uh, continue like this until you find a good model which properly represents the dispersion properties of, the, of this data set. I already did it for you, I saved the model, which is here. As you can see, this is not a bad model, because here you have the fundamental mode. Here you have a very uh, same uh, weak first higher mode, which is also here, and then here, and here, and so on, you have branches related to higher modes. This is probably the second higher mode, third higher mode, and so on. And once you get such a good agreement, say you are, you are satisfied, and you can say, okay, analysis are finished. I mean, this kind of analysis is done uh, modeling, personally modeling the data. Of course, you can do something a little bit more, say, sophisticated, because if you also have H over V spectral ratio, horizontal to vertical spectral ratio, you can upload your curve, which is here in this case. This is the curve. And you can consider such a, such a data for your modeling. And if you do like this, you will get, you see, you have two things here now. You have the dispersion properties related to your surface wave. Here, you are, here you have your horizontal to vertical spectral ratio. See, it's not 
perfect, but uh, we can just play a little bit more with these thicknesses and so on, and you will get the perfect effect. When you are totally and uh, completely satisfied with your model, you click simply report here, and you will get a number of, say, windows and stuff which might be useful for your final report. So here you have HTM, uh, HTM file reporting your your PS thickness and so on. Uh, of course, here there is a message about the output folder, your VS model reporting VS density and thickness. Of course, density is just estimated. And, and basically that's it for such a simple, say, single component uh, analysis.